Welcome back. It is Friday Eve, and Matt, I feel like we finally are having some regular winter weather. Yes, this is certainly not unusual. It's actually kind of unusual that we haven't had this up to this point so far. So at least we've got the snow. We've got a, a lot of fresh powdery snow to yeah. enjoy at the, the ski resorts. So it'll be a cold weekend to do so. But look at all the snow falling still at Jay Peak. It has been ripping there all night, all morning from uh, the lake effect snow in Ontario. Can't even see the mountain from that webcam. 20 degrees right now at the base of Jay Peak. So it's really not too bad out there temperature wise. Storm tracker shows most of us don't have the snow. In fact, there's some sunshine down in central and southern Vermont. But you see this stubborn band right off of Lake Ontario coming into the Adirondacks. Not much snow in the Champlain Valley, but you can see how it extends over to the Green Mountains. And there even are some flakes along I-89 there. Places like Georgia, Fairfax, Milton filling in in the last uh, 20 minutes or so with a snow shower. Again, that all has that connection to Lake Ontario, which is pretty impressive considering the lake itself is over 200 miles away. The heaviest snow confined to southern St. Lawrence County. That's been the story uh, basically all week and the Great Lakes don't have a lot of ice. That's why we can get these lake effect snow bands. You can see the ice coverage kind of got to look hard to see it on those white edges there. Those white patches that is the ice right along the shore. When we look at the coverage, it's only 2% coverage of ice on Lake Ontario, 13% for Lake Erie, 8% for uh, Lake Huron there, 8% for Michigan and only 4% for uh, Lake Superior. So way below average ice coverage. That's why we're getting these lake effect snow bands. And we'll continue to see that throughout the day today. Wouldn't be surprised to see a dusting to an inch of snow even in the Champlain Valley later this evening along the leading edge of the colder air. Notice how it gets cold by tomorrow morning. We've got that push finally coming down from Canada. So tomorrow morning, many of us will be in the single digits. Some below zero numbers, not out of the question near the Canadian border. And you'll see not much improvement throughout the afternoon tomorrow. Little storm system missing us to the south could bring some very light snow to Bennington and Wyndham counties, but this is not the storm for us. We are missing out this time for the most part. But notice tomorrow afternoon temperatures don't budge that much. We're only close to 10 degrees and then it gets even colder for Saturday morning. A lot of us will be below zero Saturday morning. I think for the Champlain Valley, we stayed just above the zero degree mark, but Saturday is likely the coldest day of the week with temperatures in the single digits to near 10 and wind chills 20 to perhaps 25 degrees below zero in some cases. Yeah, we've got a strong north wind and even some snowflakes are possible throughout the day on Saturday that might add up to just a little dusting on some of the cars. Check out the future wind chills. It really gets in here tomorrow night. And again, Saturday morning, as I mentioned, is the coldest with those wind chills 10 to at least 20 degrees below zero, especially up or by places by uh, like Saranac Lake. Not much improvement for Sunday. You can see we still hanging out with the negative numbers. So it's really uh, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Those are the three days that have the coldest. And then by Monday, check out that turnaround. We're back close to 30 on Monday, so a lot milder for next week, but we are keeping a close eye on some precipitation that could move in by the middle part of next week. Could be a mixture of everything from snow to ice to a little bit of rain. We'll watch it closely.